Good morning guys, it's Monday, August 19th. We are um, starting off our day with a Starbucks order. I was gonna like record an intro talking and stuff, but we can order right away. $8 for 1.7 miles, I believe it said. So let's head over to Starbucks. Starbucks. I can't fit it in the shot. Um, does anyone else have, like, their, does their Starbucks put those, like, little sticker tabs on the bags? And they don't stay closed, like, ever. Um, it's kind of pointless, to be honest with you. They're always open, because the stickers aren't, like, sticky enough, you know? Um, sorry, so many cars. My backup camera. But yeah, I don't know why they even bother with those little sticky tabs at the top. Like, I get it, it's supposed to be sealed, but they don't stay sealed because they're like this long and the bags are like humongous. Even on the small bags, they don't always stay sealed. But this order has seven items in it. It didn't take terribly too long to um, get. They had a pack, like, they had all this stuff ready for it, but they just had to package it up, um, which is nice for seven items. They weren't so crazy busy this morning, which is why I think everything was ready, but I'm definitely not going to complain. I've waited far longer at that Starbucks before. I'm trying to turn down my air, so hopefully you can hear me. I know on the videos, like, you can hear the car in the air and stuff like that, but I need to get a mic. Hopefully that'll fix the issues, but I haven't got one yet. But yeah, so it's only, from where I'm at right now, 1.2 miles away, 4 minutes, and speedos. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like this order is going to a doctor's office, which I'm not surprised. Most of the Starbucks orders that I get do end up going to some sort of business, um, especially obviously the large ones. But I feel like a lot of doctor's offices and things like that order Starbucks. <sighs> And I need to get gas after this because I am 12 miles till E. Oops. Um, I'm about two minutes away from dropping off this order. If the light would turn green. Hopefully. So I don't have my DoorDash scheduled till I think 11.30. Yeah. Not by on purpose, but I think whenever I, I have to schedule it like in advance, like today I'm scheduling all the way to Saturday, so however many days, um, like five days in advance, in order to be able to put on the schedule. A little bit at the beginning of the summer, I didn't have to do that, like it was open and stuff like that, but more recently I've been having a schedule in the past like month or so, um, which kind of sucks, but I'm not top dasher or anything, sorry if it's shaky. I have you in a new position today on my rear view mirror um, being held there, so I'm hoping it's not terribly or too terribly shaky, but it looks like it's going to be. Um, maybe it'll be fine. I don't know. We'll see when we go back and edit it. <laughs> if it is, I apologize. Um, but what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Oh, I have to schedule in advance, which kind of sucks. I'm not top dasher because I don't take the crappy no tip orders, and it is what it is. Pain management is this way. That was my package for Poshmark that I have to ship. If you heard that, that's what fell, not the order. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna drop off this order and then I'll talk to you guys. So the sticky things I'm referring to that don't stay closed. But yeah, so back in the car now. Um, gonna go ahead and get gas. I'm not a top dasher because I don't accept those little tiny non-tip orders. Um, I don't really know if there's that big of a difference being top dasher or not. A lot of the dashers that I've watched 
besides having the perk of being able to dash whenever, say that they don't see a difference either. Um, but if you are a top dasher, I mean, maybe you're in an area that gets really good orders all the time too. Um, but if you're a top dasher and you accept like all the low ball orders, like do you really feel like it's worth it? Um, if you do watch, or I mean, if you do dash and you are a top dasher, comment down below. Let me, let me know what you think. Um, but me personally, I don't find it beneficial to waste my time on those orders. I get a lot of orders that go far, that like come up and I'm not trying to really get too far out of my area. Um, just in case like the kids need me for school or something. Um, but I'm not really trying to waste gas going too far for, you know, nothing that's worth it. And they're not even worth, like, it's like $40 for 40 miles. Like, why would I take that? I'm going to end up spending all my money back, you know, coming back to the area or whatever on gas. So it's pointless for me to take those. I'll just, I set a reminder in my phone. Like, it's a daily reminder to remind me to schedule my dash. Sometimes I miss my reminder too and forget to schedule a dash. Like the one from Monday, that's why I couldn't schedule it because I waited till too late in the day and majority of the dashes for the morning were gone. Um, but I set a reminder to hopefully, when I see it in the morning, to set my dash in advance so that I don't forget. So there's a tip. If you forget to schedule your dashes, Try to set a daily reminder in your phone um, that alerts you so that you can schedule. I really need a haircut. I have so many split ends. Um, that's neither here nor there. Um, it's been a long time since I've done anything with my hair. So, haircut slash coloring wise, um, I'm due. But my birthday is next month, so I'll probably just get it done for my birthday. Um, it's such a mom thing to say, right? <laughs> Um, but anyhow, yeah, hopefully we get another good order on Uber Eats. Um, I also have Instacart turned on and Grubhub. If Grubhub decides to bless me with an order today, I doubt it, but we'll see. Mondays are usually decent with Instacart. Um, not all the time, but usually sometimes I can get at least one pretty good Instacart order. I feel like for the people that forgot to, you know, do their shopping over the weekend if they have kids and whatnot. But, I don't know, we'll see. Last week Monday was good. I hit my goal. I think I went over my goal a little bit too. Um, so I'm hoping this Monday is a repeat of last Monday, but we'll see. The jury is still out for the day. We are pulling into racetrack because I need gas. I am now 11 miles till E and we can't be doing that so we're gonna take a pit stop and get some gas and hopefully get an order all right so we got our gas how much is gas near you for me it's 314 three dollars and 14 cents today. It keeps fluctuating, but that's what gas does. Um, I'm going to go park back over by Publix slash Starbucks and hope I get something over there um, until I can... I, m most of my, like, usually I'll sit by Panera, but most of my Panera orders are through DoorDash. Um, so... Three dollar, three point seven miles for three dollars and twenty eight cents for Burger King. I'm not accepting that one. All right, so I didn't even get to Publix before I got another order, which is always great. Uh, Five dollars for two point three miles going from Taco Bell. So I took it, and we're heading there now. Another Taco Bell order, $5 for three miles, 3.3 miles. So we're heading Dancing back to Taco Bell. I actually need to get over 
because I was going in the turning lane because I was going to drop off my Poshmark packages, but it looks like, oh, you know what, this might be better. No, it's not. That's a, I was going to say there's a good Instacart order, but it's for Walgreens and the Walgreens is not the Walgreens next to me. I don't know if I can, sorry if I got really close, I don't know if I can get over there. Hopefully I can, hopefully no one hits me. Just ahead, turn right. All right, we got another order. We're heading to Publix Liquors. It's a liquor order. I believe it said $14. I will post it up here whenever I get confirmation, or I'll just give you the total at the end. Um, I wanted to like screenshot it but I keep forgetting and just accepting the orders um <laughs> I guess I'm like afraid to lose them or something some especially with Instacart they go by quick quick so um I just kind of accept as fast as I can but anyways I believe it was like $14.08 um for 0.8 miles from the Publix that I'm going to which is only like a mile away from me so I'd say in total it's about you know two miles we'll say two miles total with going there and delivering it from the store so definitely love that it's only two items or three units two items so there's a duplicate of one item um, which again easy peasy especially a liquor store order because the public's liquors and some publixes are separate like from the actual Publix so it's like a little liquor store connected to the Publix but I don't have to go in the entire big store to shop so I'm usually in and out it's very similar to like if you have a Walgreens and a Walgreens liquors um, it's just like that but I think even Walmart has one there's one Walmart near us that has one it's set up kind of like the same way but yeah, I'm super excited to get that order because that'll definitely keep me on track for my goal for the day. I'm hoping, what is it, 1030 right now, um, DoorDash is still unavailable for another hour. It said, oh, busy now, Dash, and I clicked it and it doesn't show me I'm able to Dash, so I don't know why it told me that. Or that, like, it's busy in your area. Apparently they lied. <laughs> But yeah, so staying on, co uh, on pace for today, um, I'm going to say course, I guess that works too, um, for the day, and hopefully we get some more good orders for this Monday. Um, how is Monday near you guys if you DoorDash and Instacart and stuff like that? What days do you find during the day tends to be the busiest? Um, besides obviously like the weekends, um, but like weekday, what weekday do you find to be the busiest in your area near you? And what store do you like to, um, shop at the most? Me personally, for Instacart, it's going to be Publix because it tells me which aisle it's going to be in. Usually it's correct. There's been a couple times where they're a little bit off, but I can navigate the Publix, um, locations near me pretty well because I shop there um, so I pretty much know where everything's at for the most part there are some things people order that I have no idea like I've never consumed before so sometimes I have to ask for help but um, let me know which what, what do you think what's your favorite store to shop at as an Instacart shopper or even as DoorDash like I know Uber Eats and DoorDash um, started integrating like shopping at stores if you do those which one's your favorite to shop at all right so this order is only three minutes away um, I was gonna record in the store like putting the things in the basket but she had three things when I grabbed the first one which was a vodka um, the clerk asked me oh does she have or does the order happen to have I don't know, E&J or something like that. Um, I think it's a brandy. And I was like, yeah, how'd you know? And he goes, oh, she orders like once a week. So 
I didn't have to shop the rest of the order, which is nice. Um, again, it was only three things, so it wasn't like a crazy amount, but it's definitely helpful. All right, so we got another Starbucks order. I've been sitting here for a good, I don't know, 10 minutes or so outside. Ooh. So that one was for five. Now it's adding another $5.50. So I have two Starbucks orders. Um, the first one said about three miles. This one, I really don't remember what it said. It was either turn one right. or two. Right. It wasn't that many miles. I think it said only one added mile. But um, it was good enough for me to accept it. Like, that's how quick I forget. Just, I look at it see okay the mileage is low i'm already going there i think it said one mile to be honest with you um so a good ten dollar order for like four ish say four ish miles um it's starting to slow down but i mean that's usually between 10 and 11 it gets kind of slow it's 11 on three right now i do have my um sorry i have my gps on even though i know where to go i don't she can shh uh, Uber Eats already um, or just automatically does it for me if I have the app open. So, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, DoorDash allowed me to go on like 30 minutes early, so I have that one on too now. Starbucks is packed a lot more packed now than it was this morning, which is kind of silly. But let's go pick up these orders. I think it's for Steven and Megan. So we got our Starbucks orders, and then I also got a water to refill my water with. Um, usually I'll do it when I go home, but I was getting really low, and I like Starbucks ice. Oh, that was a perfect amount. And then I'll recycle this when I get home. But, um, yeah. A little tip if you're picking up orders from Starbucks. If you didn't already know, most people do know that their waters are free. You don't have to buy anything. There's some places nowadays that will charge you to get a water cup, which I think is kind of ridiculous. I mean, I get it. You're using cost of, um, the cups, but... They make enough that it shouldn't be that big of a difference. It's just water. But yeah, so I got my water bottle refilled. I'm waiting for this car behind me, or two cars behind me. This parking lot can get kind of, oh, I thought they were letting me go. This parking lot can get kind of hectic. It's very small, and when it's busy, also there's this huge white truck that's parked right beside me that makes it kind of difficult too um but yeah it's kind of small so when it is busy it's very compact and also the line like wraps around the building for starbucks as you can see i'm passing people that are in the line right now complete pickup and we are on our way to our first one it is 2.5 miles away from me let's go deliver these orders Sitting here accepting an order for six dollars and ninety cents for your pickup, it's on three at point sorry three point nine miles I believe I said. Um, Sonic is right around the corner. I've been sitting here at Publix, hoping for an Instacart order, but apparently that is not in the cards today, or at least yet. Um, but yeah, Sonic is literally right around the corner. So, I will go pick that one up. Um, for Sonic, you don't have to get out of the car. They will just um, bring it to you. You can go through the drive-thru or you can go through the, um, what do you call it? 
They have like little stalls where you park if you're not familiar with the Sonic. I think they're all over, but um, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, so I know they're at least in the southern area. <laughs> But they have little stalls and stuff. It looks like they're pretty dead. There's no one in the drive-thru right now. There are people in stalls, but I don't know if those are just employees. I think they're employees because there's no one in the car. Um, but yeah, we're gonna pick up this order. Keep trucking along. Hi, yes, I'm picking up an order for Tasha B. And you're in the drive through correct? I am. All right, not a problem. As soon as this is ready, we'll have that right out to you, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Now he's in me. I got the food. Y'all, look how big this cup is. It's so big. It's bigger than my head. Oh, my goodness. All right. Luckily, my cup holders are big enough to hold that, but that is a big 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 cup um we are delivering three miles away it says about eight minutes but i just want to show you how big that cup was Quick break to let the puppers out. Pretty, pretty boy. Thank you. They're like, leave me alone, mom. I'm going to the bathroom. All right, so we're sitting at Panera, and I just got an order for ten dollars for four point two miles. So we're gonna go get that. Thank you. All right, guys, we finally got another order. I've been sitting here for nearly an hour. I'd say at least 45 minutes. Um, well, between here, I've been sitting at Publix and I was sitting at Panera first. And I wasn't getting anything, so I moved to Publix and I still didn't get anything. I was just really betting on that Instacart order, but it doesn't look like Instacart is my friend today. But I did get a $10 order for six miles and some change. Um, sorry about the wobbliness uh, it's a speed bump um but yeah it's two i think it's two orders in one from wingstop hopefully they're ready wingstop is always behind um i usually have to wait so that gets irritating but i wasn't getting anything else and yeah so i took it i think i'm about right now before this order around 41 dollars away from my goal so, I only have about an hour and a half left of dashing, um, of like time before I have to go get the kiddos. So, um, I don't think I'm going to make my goal for today, which is okay. It's still been, been pretty good of a day. Um, sad when I can't hit that $100 mark, but you win some, you lose some. There's some good days and some bad days. But yeah, we're gonna keep trucking along and go pick up our Wingstop order. Alright, so we picked up our Wingstop order and I realized the second order is not for Wingstop. It's for Papa John's. So now we're on our way to go pick up that order. Um, I talked to, there's this lady that I see all the time and she recognizes me and asks how the boys are doing. Um, every time I see her, but she's super sweet, an older lady, and she said it's been slow today for her, too, so it's not just me, 
Um, I mean, it was pretty, pretty good for the small orders this morning. Um, but it's definitely slowed down after like 12 o'clock, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So yeah, we're on our way to Papa John's now to pick up the second order. Alright, so we have our last quarter of the day at Publix. Um, it's only for like $12 and some change, but I wasn't getting anything else and there's not that many items in this order, so I figured why not take it. So let's go shopping. Alright, so we're done for the day. I'm going to post what I made on each platform here. Um, the total though was $83.66, so just a tad bit shy of what I wanted to make for the day, being $100, but it's not that bad. I'm happy that at least I made a good decent amount and it's Monday, so it's hit or miss. Um, thank you guys for dashing with me slash, well I guess today I didn't actually do any door dashing. It was Uber Eats and Instacart, but... Thank you guys for coming along, delivering with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.